welcome on the hands on time my name is Mal and I'm doing watch reviews for you so the topic of today is about this brand Timex uh, that uh, you know everybody knows <laughs> honestly so Timex is an ancient brand um, Timex was founded in 1854 okay 1854 a lot of history for Timex under the name of the Waterbury Clock Company so they were coming to us from United States and they were based um, in um, the Connecticut you know at the time uh, so a long story short because I'm not going to expand you know on the, the history of Timex everybody knows it after the, um, the Second World War they were doing cheap watches let's let's be honest you know watches that were really really cheap that you can purchase you could purchase for uh, you know something between five dollars to eight eight dollars and that had a, a year warranty okay so they were really doing cheap watches that um, you know the mainstream could could um, could purchase so yeah for me Timex is a uh, sort of like the the Casio, if you want, uh, of uh, of United States. That's how uh, I always perceive them. The cost. How much did I pay for the watch that I'm gonna present to you? So the box. Here is the box. Okay, nothing fancy. A long, long box. Well, well made. Uh, is the Timex Marlin. So you see, the box. Really nice box. Really nice package packaging for this Timex. 199 euros for this baby. 100 200 euros for uh, the Timex Marlin. The specs, what are the specs for this watch? Really simple case size 34 millimeters. Okay, a case size of 34 millimeters, probably you know the size of the watch that your grandfather or your grand grandfather was wearing. Really refined, really a gentleman size. A size that I really really love um, that you can find in every you know big, uh, big. Um, brand name you know uh, Rolex for example uh, was doing you know 34 millimeters watches uh, what else thickness 10 millimeters 10 millimeters of thickness the lug width would be for the strap 18 millimeters 18 millimeters for the lug width uh, the lug to lug distance is 44 44 lug to lug distance so you see a really really nice lug to lug distance oh sorry not 44 41 even less than that 41 lock to lock distance uh, the water resistance is only 30 uh, meters of water resistance so you don't go and swim with this watch it's not made for it uh, the movement that you have inside is the st6 seagull uh, which is a mechanical movement that you can only hand wind um, is that like uh, the entire truth no because uh, the st6 uh, is an automatic movement that had a rotor basically but they put out you know they, 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 they got rid of the rotor uh, why to stay true to the original Marlin because this is a reissue of the Timex Marlin okay so then they got rid of the rotor for it to be only mechanical so the ST6 from uh, Seagull is inside uh, the crystal is acrylic okay we have an acrylic dome crystal as you can see acrylic not mineral and uh, I guess that that's it for uh, the specs. We have uh, a leather, you know, uh, cow, genuine leather, as you can see, in a leathered style. Okay, and the buckle is actually signed with the Timex uh, connotation here. So I choose the, um, the gold one, okay, with the sort of silver and champagne uh, dial, beautiful and the um, crown as you can see yeah i'm focusing is unsigned okay you also have drill drill lugs which which is wonderful you know to change the strap the, that's a, a game changer so the lugs are drilled uh, the back is only made out of stainless steel the good and the bad what's good what's bad about this watch well the first thing uh, let's talk about the bad things okay the strap, the strap, the strap like uh, an Orion Bambino, uh, like a, you know, a, a cheap Seiko, like uh, all these type of watches. It's not like the best strap in the world. It's not soft. It's hard to break in, and it's not a wonderful strap. And I'm fed up, fed up with this strap. Um, and uh, what I decided is to put all my dress watches on Milanese strap anyway. So that one will, will not be an exception uh, to the rule. And uh, I'm gonna change the strap anyway, you know, to a Milanese strap because I'm fed up. Up, like really fed up with, with this type of strap and um, and I, pr I prefer really uh, it uh, to uh, a Milanese you know I prefer uh, a Milanese strap over um, 
a leather strap even like a, a good leather of a good quality why because if i sweat you know the leather is uh, actually uh, you know smelling and I, I, I never liked it even when i was a kid i never liked leather leather strap anyway so i'm gonna put all of my dress watches on a milanese strap and that's the decision i took and that one is no, no exception yeah it's not a really good strap okay um, it shines a lot it has plastic uh, plastic um, look to it and it's not a good strap what else uh, can i say which uh, are you know bad things about this watch well nothing else uh, so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about what the people are saying about this watch they are saying that the movement is not good okay the st6 inside is a seagull st6 movement that was an automatic movement basically they put a they, they, they got rid like like i said before uh, you know of the rotor to uh, make um, a mechanical uh, movement out of it and it's a wonderful movement Okay, Seagull is a brand company um, that uh, purchased all the tools of Venus, which is a Switzerland company, you know, in the past. And they are, you know, they, they bought them back, you know, in, um, brought them back in China and they are doing wonderful movements. So I completely disagree with the majority of people that are saying that Seagull is a problem. Seagull is not a problem. Seagull is the best that China can produce in terms of mainstream movements and mainstream watches. Okay, so if you want something reliable, you can count on Seagull. Okay, so for me, wonderful movement, the ST6. I have it in other watches and uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful movement. And Seagull is a wonderful company and I love the Seagull company. So I completely disagree. Okay, maybe you can gain a little bit of time with this watch, but this watch is, um, is not, you know, uh, made to be uh, precise anyway. Okay, this is a mechanical watch uh, and um, a ratio of the, of the Marlin. And if you gain like 10 seconds per day, you know, that's not the end of the world. You can actually regulate this, uh, this movement or, uh, or not, you know, or not. This is uh, the charm of this watch. Uh, in fact, so I completely disagree with the people and I think that uh, yeah, this movement the, the ST6 is wonderful and I have no problem whatsoever with it. The second thing would be uh, the acrylic uh, You know uh, Crystal which is not a mineral crystal or not a sapphire crystal many people are complaining about it I have no problem whatsoever with uh, with this acrylic you know crystal uh, rolex used to used to to put some acrylic crystal even uh, omega you know with uh, the speedmaster the original speedmaster was acrylic it wasn't crystal and there's nothing um, that you cannot you know fix with a good poly watch you know uh, product on the acrylic crystal to uh, put it back to its uh, original look and me personally i'm so careful you know with my watches uh, even sapphire watches that you know it does not bother me because I'm always you know taking care of my watches and uh, I'm not like you know tr try to um, to uh, I'm trying to avoid you know them to, to scratch against a wall or against a table or anything else so for me it's not it's not something bad and that's probably it how to wear this watch well clearly this watch is um, a gentleman's watch you know a watch that you would wear with your with your suit and uh, or casual chic outfits okay don't wear this watch with a hoodie uh, you will look uh, completely stupid uh, with it and there you go for the wrist shot so my um, wrists are 16.5 centimeter of circumference and there you go look how it looks so okay it's a 34 millimeters but it really doesn't look like a 34 millimeters on my 16.5 wrist you know the size look quite you know generic okay it's it's um, it's um, it's smaller than um, a bambino for example but i think that the the lug to lug distance you know the lugs which are 41 millimeters are doing a um, tremendous you know uh, a wonderful job at balancing you know the size of this watch on my wrist and it's as you can see truly truly beautiful stands beautifully on the wrist embrace everything you know the entirety of my uh, of my wrist and looks really 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 nice you would look like a really dapper with a suit and this watch on your wrist really wonderful a really really nice size a gentleman's size truly refined I really dig you know uh, this size and I'm really tending to go on smaller watches nowadays uh, so uh, 
Yeah, really, 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 really nice. Really nice size. So what do you think? I really dig it. Except for the, for the leather bracelet that I really need to change. But with the Milanese bra bracelet, this watch will be, uh, will be just wonderful. It's going to be enhanced by, uh, by 100%. So as you can see, I'm taking the time here, 16.5, beautiful, beautiful size, beautiful watch, stands beautifully on the wrist, no surprise. I think that it could be even uh, beautiful on a big wrist, you know, don't be, uh, don't let the size fool you, even on a big wrist, you know, this watch would be, would be a wonder. So guys, let's take a moment. So the most important moment of the video is this moment because of the dial. This watch is all about the dial, let's be honest. So as you can see, we, we have a PVC treatment. This is not like real gold, okay? It's a PVC gold case uh, treatment, which, which I like. I'm gonna present to you soon another watch with real uh, gold plated and you, you will be able to see the difference. Okay, so stay tuned for that one. It's a beautiful, you know, dress watch as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, that one is PVC. It's not real real gold. So let's get inside this beautiful dial Silver, you know silver champagne type of dial Really nice plays beautifully with the light and everything on this dial On this watch sorry is the dial beautiful look at this silver dial silver uh, hands, okay second hand and hand Really, really nice. Let's have a look at the back. Timex. Hand winding movement. Circa 2018. Stainless steel case. What do we have here? Water resistant 30 meters. Yeah. So the unsigned crown. You have a little small dent on the crown. The crown is really small, by the way. Okay, big, 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 big um, fingers will will have some trouble, you know, hand winding it. But um, the smoothness is wonderful. And listen to this. I love the sound of the SC16 inside. Wonderful, wonderful. So there you have it. You know, beautiful, beautiful dial. Again for a beautiful watch, for a beautiful gentleman's watch. Really, really refined. Looks beautifully, uh, beautiful on the wrist. I love it. So my final thoughts. Final thoughts, well, for me, this is a watch that uh, could, be, could be worn by, um, by, a, by a man or even by a girl because I saw a girl that was presenting this watch on YouTube. I don't know her name, she's cool, but, uh, but I don't know her name. Uh, uh, you tape tape you know a timex marlin um, on youtube and you will find her i'm sure and um and she's uh, she's um, wearing this this watch as well so men and women uh what else can i say beautiful size you know really refined really uh classical you know uh looks beautifully on the wrist uh, I think this watch is a, is a watch that would complement, you know, uh, any, any, any aficionados, any enthusiast of, uh, um, of watches, uh, like if you have one in your collection. Really, really interesting. I think that you really need to swap the bracelet. So for a better, you know, um, a better uh, leather strap, you know, something that, that, that would be, that would be softer, uh, or a Milanese like me, a Milanese strap, you know, I'm going to take, uh, put a Milanese strap on this watch. So there you have it. I love it. it it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I love, uh, the size, the 34 millimeters is wonderful. You know, like, uh, you know, the new PRX from Tissot that just came out 35 millimeters. I tried it. It's really, really, really a beautiful and, uh, really well sized watch you know that one is just one millimeter under uh the the tso prx uh, 35. so guys if you like what you saw uh, subscribe comment leave me some comments you know uh, and i will be you know happy to read them and uh, to answer to them okay so have a really really nice day take care of yourselves and let's have a last look at this beauty the Timex, Timex Marlin in gold, mechanical watch, beautiful, really nice, really nice watch, I really love it, take care of you, goodbye guys.